right, guys. Good old boy 32 here. Check it out. So I wanted to do this video real quickly to kind of show up and confess up that I actually screwed up <laughs> uh, installing this UTG Pro handguard. Now, here's the thing. I actually bought a couple of these things just to put them on a build series where I had four matching rifles up behind my desk. And unfortunately for UTG Pro, what I was running into, and we talked about this in one of the last videos, is that this thing was angling up just like that. I mean, it was, it was pronounced. So I got pissed off. I tried reinstalling one. And unfortunately for me, what I did was, and it says it right on the sticker, do not tighten it on the outer rings here on the barrel nut. And that's what I did. And uh, unfortunately, you can see the barrel nut's kind of screwy. It was so fudged up that I couldn't even get the wrench assembly that comes with the hand, the hand guard off of this. So what happens? I actually ordered this guy right here. This is the Super Slim Free Float Titanium Barrel Nut. Now, is this going to be the solve of my problems? I don't know until we uh, go ahead and install this thing. So what we're going to do, I have a uh, Hitman Industries 16-inch, 1 and 8 twist uh, barrel that I'm going to go ahead and assemble in this upper right here. This is just a mil-spec upper receiver. I'm going to put it on this thing, and let's see if that's solving the problem. Who knows? It may. If it does, great. If not, well, I got a upper that I'm just going to have to live with it being bent like a broke dick. So anyway, let me go get the barrel. Let's go ahead and put this bad boy on and see if it works. Stand by. All right, so here we are. We've got the Hitman Industries uh, 1 and 8 twist barrel. I think I picked this thing up for like $139. As far as I know, they still have them in stock. Uh, hitmanindustries.com, possibly. Anyway, uh, I'll just leave that out there. We're going to go ahead and put this guy on it right here, the Yankee Hill Machine, low-profile gas block. And then I love these guys right here. This is their, which one is this? The, uh, oh, I don't know. Hell, it's the big one. Keeps the, uh, the flame down. <laughs> Anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing installed, uh, and then um, we'll put this thing on there and see if this will stay level with the receiver with that titanium barrel nut. Stand by. All right, so according to YouTube rules, I really can't show you guys how to do this because it would be misconstrued as assembly of a firearm. What I can do is I can show you this. This is the MC or M Carbo AR-15 barrel nut grease mil spec aeroshell. 33MS mil dash uh, G dash 21164D one ounce can. I've had this thing forever and it has lasted damn near that long. We're going to go ahead and wrap it around this thing. Uh, but before we do that, let's go ahead and open this thing. I might as well take a look at where the hell is my knife at? Here we go. Do, 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 do. Da -da. Um, ma, 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 na. All right, what does this guy come with? We've got some shims. We've got some screws. Oh, hell yes, it comes with new screws because I do need new screws because I stripped the damn things out. All right. That's really nice. Compared to that, yeah. Oh, caution. Apply barrel nut wrench to the center slot for installation. Do not use wrench on the lower slot. Refer to manual on barrel nut tightening. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and apply the AeroShell barrel nut grease. Bought this stuff off of Amazon. I'm not sure if you can actually get it on Amazon anymore. But I just wrap it around there. And another thing that I do is I put a little bit of uh, I usually on anything is a precision. I'll put some 609 Loctite on the inside. And what that does is it will actually uh, expand and uh, fill any void so that there's no movement between the barrel and the upper receiver. Now, here's a cool thing. This, I always take a barrel like that and I shake it back and forth. And if there's any movement, there's a little bit of movement on that, but not something I really give a crap about uh, at this level. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to bring and put that barrel nut on there. I'm going to, I read the directions this time, knucklehead, <laughs> and we will tighten it up. Now, the idea is that these slots 
allow for this guy to go in there like this and uh, the screws go through this. So you have to time this a little bit. Not a big issue, especially we're, on, we're almost there. It's perfect. Okay, let me take it over here, tighten it up with the uh, thing. What do you call this? Uh, torque wrench. And then I'll be right back. Here we go. All right, well, she's installed right there, the uh, little slider nut thingy. She's perfect. Uh, what you want to do is make sure that these screws are perfectly in line with the bottom because you're going to put screws there along the side and the side here. And we have access all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and put those screws in. I'm not going to bore you with that. Be right back. Okay, well, we got it all assembled and uh, put on, torqued down, and ready to go. And it's absolutely perfect. I am... Uh, I'm really happy about that, man. The uh, gas block is lined up perfectly. Uh, that's a nice upper. I'm really excited about that. And I'm really excited that that's a perfect alignment. I'm not sure if it's just an individual thing or what. But as you remember, we did this on that PSA ARV. I want you to look at that. There is no distance between this point right here and that flat edge. Okay. And like I said before, it was, it was almost a quarter of an inch which really ticked me off. But this may be the key to this whole thing. So I've got about three more of these hand guards. I might go ahead and start producing uppers that look just like this. This was nice. I like that. And then we go ahead and put the uh, Yankee Hill 5C1. Oh, and remember we were talking about uh, the, the M-Lock slots being in spec. This is one way that I test these things. I want you guys to see this. That's perfect fit. That thing fits perfectly. That kinetic development. You can put your tripod on there. I'm going to go ahead and put a tripod on this one. I might do this just for the uh, review I'm going to do on the uh, Fab Defense tripod, which is sitting right here. Guys, that's awesome. I am happy. When a plan comes together like that, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty cool. I've had not a lot of, not any flex in it, honestly. Uh, <laughs> unlike that POS uh, Midwest, Midwest Industries. Handguard, I can't stand those things. But in any case, that thing's nice. So, um, yeah, the UTG, this deal right here. Now, I did get this from Optics Planet. I know, I know. It took about two weeks to get here, but it did, and it was worth it. Uh, I'm not sure of anybody else who carries these things, but I will tell you this. This thing's awesome. I can't wait to go out and shoot this guy, because I want to see what the accuracy level of this Hitman Industries uh, barrel is one and eight twist, my favorite. So with that being said, guys, if you like this video, uh, we're just going to mount this guy on there. And then, uh, you know, I've got several, uh, lowers sitting over here <laughs> that we're going to be doing. Uh, and uh, actually I, I was going to put these on the premium build, but decided to go with the Geisley Mark eight, which I'm, I'm, I'm glad I did, but I'm gonna tell you something. If this works out, I'll go ahead and order a couple more of these barrels and get these things put together with that titanium uh, barrel nut. Who knew? Let's go to Boy 32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform who are going to tell the government that they are unconstitutional because that's what it's going to take. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Subscribe and uh, like the video if you haven't already done so. <laughs> I'm very happy. God, man, it's just the little things that make me happy.